Yes, but see, I could you just tell me if you saw? I mean, oh, do you have a picture to go with what you wrote? I so, have a videotape of the process. Okay, but could you just tell me? Did you find something here where this triangle or where this black is? Uh, let's see. This is number nine. I'm going to report here. Where I have to go to. Let me also back up just a second. I don't want to do to spoil what you guys are going to do. But let me tell you this. I have the missile coming through the brain, and I have the brain in the head from the Zapruder film. I know exactly where the bullet came through. And I, when you track the bullet backwards, in other words, I have the bullet coming right through his head. I have his scalp in the air, where did it stall, where did it like and it came in right about here, right about his eye. Yeah. If you just track that down, okay, the hole from the missile, it comes out right here, so it had to go in right about in here. And it came out here? Absolutely, I have it. I have it. Off the Zapruder film. I'm a memory wasn't as good as I thought. What? My memory wasn't as good as I thought then. Because the con I remember well, that Curtis. When, when I'm interviewing you, don't be colored yeah. by anything yeah, he says. Yeah. I shouldn't say anything. Yeah. yeah. No, no. But I don't want to watch it. About it now, but, but I just want to tell you that these are the photos that I work from. The thing that is inter most interesting to me the more than anything is you know the finger, you know the picture where the ruler's on the back? Yeah. And on the on the face picture and yeah. so forth? The hand, I get your, I know, that gloved hand that's in the picture is was in the picture before it was faked. So whosoever hand is in that the official autopsy photo, you know? You know, while I was taking x-rays, there was a photographer taking films and I was taking x-rays too. Well, whosoever hand is in there knows that that picture is fake because the hand is real, the head parts that weren't blown away are real. Oh, please look this way so we can... Well, oh, I, oh, I okay. thought you were going to do Well, that's all right. We can might as well just do But I'd rather along. Special. I don't want to tell her what you're going to say. So you're I'm telling me some stuff that I didn't know. What about the hand? I'm sorry, I was... I'll just be quiet. Yeah. See, there's some things that I... Uh, what, I was, you, what was the hand? I'm sorry. I, I, Go ahead. I, okay. Maybe you yeah. can understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. At the symposium in Dallas last week was the first time that Dr. Weck and I have publicly revealed my findings in three years of work. The three years of work, the first thing that I had were the Zapruder film to find out where the shooters actually were. Mm -hmm. We know exactly where they were now. We know the sequence of the shots. I've been able to actually get the head wounds off the Zapruder film and show it. I can show the frontal empty shot, the back coming out the back, the shot through right over in here coming out the head. I have the brain. Was there more than one shot to the head? There was only one shot to the head. Now remember I'm only working off of one frame of the Zapruder film now, okay? So the first shot was here, it came out here. The second shot was here, it came out here. And I know the exact angle, and I can almost tell the caliber of the missile. There's no dum-dum, I'll tell you that. And he also was shot in the back, from the back, right back here. And you can see that in one autopsy photograph. However, 14 feet 6 after the head part was blown off, there's another part of the head coming off in the air. We believe, and we haven't confirmed it yet. You know the part of the skull they found on the street? Mm -hmm. It looks exactly like that shape. But that was 14 feet 6 after the headshot. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is that the very moment... 14 frames? 14 feet? No frames. I don't go by frames. I go by events. And I, I can show you. 14 what? 14 feet 6 inches after the shot went, after his head went in the air. Yeah. 14 <coughs> feet 6 later on, there's another part of his head in the air. Okay, now this is on the next film and the Zapruder film. The other thing is, is that the Mary Mormon photograph is not the time of the headshot. That's a bunch of bull. The headshot was seven feet six farther down the road from Mary Mormon. So I have all these things. Okay, so the things that I've done are the autopsy photos, fake or real, the Zapruder film, the next film, and some of these other things. So I have all these findings, you know, but we're talking about the autopsy. But these photographs came from Tim Thompson to Zero in November 1988. Okay. And the other one I had is the fake autopsy photo with the nice little bullet hole. That's fake as heck, and I have all that done. Yeah. What's interesting about that photograph is, is that when you take this machine that I have and you look into a hole in the head, it should show a hole. Mm -hmm. But on the fake photograph, that head is filled with something. The 
There's no scalp, but the head is round where the hole is. What about this, this right here? Okay, I found another hole there, too. Well, what, what is this one? I don't see it. made a deposition that we're prepared to put it to the government right now and back, and back it up. I print it in my book? Hey, Can I print it in my book? I don't know. I don't know. I doubt it. Oh, do you, have my, do you have my book on Treason? Yes, I went through it. I had some comments on it. Okay, because I was going to give you yeah. a part of your heart back. <laughs> Yeah, well, here's a guy. Finding, finding out. Okay, that's a shooter from the Mary Mormon photograph. Okay, let me see. All right, now we're getting in the back Can right now. It? All right, I'll show I'll go through this. Thing. <coughs> we know what, what are those pictures right there? This is the time of day that the Oswald picture was taken. I got the sun off his shoes. Mm -hmm. You can find that. You can find a shadow for any event you want, but the yeah. sun shows who it is. We have the face behind him. There's the guy behind Oswald's face. That's what he really looked like. He had an abnormal eye. What do you mean behind Oswald's face? You know the famous Oswald photograph? <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not Oswald. No way. That's his face. Yeah. Only. A portion of his face. From here up. It's not even his eyes. This is this is sophisticated stuff. Well, were those photographs digitally made then at that time? No, they weren't digitally made. It was done by half tons. Here's a hole that you used to pull the bullet out of the back of the neck. Mm -hmm. There it is, right there. Okay, here's what we have. We have an entry hole right here. This is an exit hole here. This is his head. This is the head. Here's the, this is not a computer generated. This is the actual image off the Zapruder film. This is the hole in his head. Where, where, where's the face? The face is he's looking down. Yeah. This yeah. is the back of his head. You're looking down on it. See his ear oh. here? Okay. Now, this is after he's been shot. This is right. This is as the missile hit him. Oh. Now, it's very hard to understand all this in a few minutes, okay? But let me tell you that this is right off the Zapruder film, and what he had is he had a hole in his head, and these are the measurements. Was the hole here? It was right back here. Right here's the dimensions. Mm -hmm. He also had a hole. Now, he's bent over now. Here's his ear. He had this hole coming out here, which is this hole going in here, okay? Mm -hmm. He also was shot in the back. This is the exit from the back of the That's neck. That's the exit from the back of the neck. It had, you know, when he was shot from the upper right-hand side from the back, and on the autopsy photo, one of these holes is this hole right here. Yeah. This is through his coat. Uh -huh. This did not come from the sniper's window. Okay? How do you know came, that? I know it. I know the angle. I know where it came from. Now, here. Here's my notation on it. Okay, so he was hit. Was he hit here, or was he hit here? He was hit here. Okay, what's this right here? Did you examine but, that? Yes, I examined that, but remember now, now, you're looking at one frame it? off of the pruder. Here's my notation. There's a proposed area, and this is the exit hole. You know where the one picture where somebody's holding him up like this? Mm -hmm. That hole is hidden by the folds of skin when his head is back. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that there was an exit hole shown under the pruder film, and I related that to the center of the spine, okay? But there is an entry hole, now these are back holes now, okay? There is an entry hole at 9 o'clock on the autopsy photograph number 8, not shown on the Zapruder film. There's an entry hole right there. And there's an entry hole shown on the Zapruder film with a spot of blood on autopsy photograph number 8. Missile enters from 45 degree angle to the right and up from vertical spine axis and horizontal shoulder blade. Now i got to tell you which one was number 8. Okay. Can you where this is what is this this is the head no oh this is, oh, the, this is the autopsy picture his head is right yeah. here what you're seeing is this yeah that's this you this see these hands right there and incidentally these are oh. two people's hands oh, okay i see the they're not one people's hands they're not they're, they're two, two people just foggy people. from the right. fight and everything right now this hand here is person a it's his right hand yeah this hand here not right here not up here I'm just talking about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is here. This person here is person B. It's his left hand, right here. Okay. okay. The one hole is right up, is right down here on the entry hole. It's down on the same axis. It's under the blood. 
Where? Somewhere down in here? Down in there, yes. And this only came out when I took layers off the back. Uh -huh. And then there's another hole at 9 o'clock. In other words, this would be midnight. This is 6 o'clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is 9 o'clock. There's two entry holes there. Now this is coming from the autopsy film. These holes are coming from the Zapruder film. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they're matching up. Okay, so show me on here. There's, in other words, there's two bullet holes down here somewhere. Yes. Okay. There's one at... If you take your spine, go right down like this. This is midnight. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is six o'clock. Okay. Would this represent the spine right here? That's the spine right there, right, right about here. Come Here's right your down. cervical. Here, your yeah. thoracic's here. Right, right. So that's that's where your rib cage and all your main. Right. And so you come down one by. You see this? So there's one of them to the left of the spine. Yes. This right here. What's this? At right nine o'clock. Yes. What's this right here? I believe that's a hole, but I have to get my videotape to look at. It. And you're not filming this, are you? Well, I don't want you recording what I'm saying. It's oh, not okay. allowed. Oh, I turn. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 